I, I, I still like EG's lineup a lot. I think they have a great draft. Perfect call from the boys here at the desk. Yeah, when AUI's already rotated in, this is an unexpected move. Out comes the Salomon, first blood. Spilt by EG. Maybe region turns for off, but they're still going in. They will pull the universe back. The global comes out, there's no grave save. Does he dive deeper? The mech's gonna keep him alive, even though there's odds, and now he's snowballed. Looking for the turn, it's on two. Universe with the walrus plug. Oh, the PPD gets caught. Will catch them and keep them away. And now the oh, universe comes through. Tyler rains down the pain. EG trapped by a fissure. Global, a brilliant success. Although Fear may take down Shao Wei here, Illusions will finish him off, salvaging the fight, make it a three for one, and they still have their black hole available. But Blitz, this tower about to fall. That normally that Dazzle Gray is so strong, and you know the analyst talked a lot about it, but this, this silencer is multi-purpose. I mean, PPD was trying to run forward, but he was just outside the range. He only has that single level of the shallow grave, so it's not as effective. Just waiting for EG to make the oh, first move, but now the global is cooled down and they go in on to Sumail. The global comes out again. Same old recipe. Yules will purge it. Is it going to give them time for the grave? The mech, the big saves, now the echo, not enough. Sumail kept alive the black hole, trying to turn this further, but maybe Ball's back in. We'll get the kill. He looks to run away, and he's got a haste turn, so he scurries to freedom. And Silo comes with the south, and he finds Universe next. A two for two. Global and Black Hole both expended and maybe looking for more. Doppelganger back, Fear. On the way out here, the Sigil will cover the path of retreat. And in the end, LGD. Pretty much all of their tier two, tier three items. And they've almost got the medallion you mentioned. He's got 850 gold. Oh, the Echo bottom lane. They made it go in Fear. Global coming out, but they need more lockdown to bring Fear down. He's got the Diffusal Blade. Hook is there. It's on the PPD. Only getting support for this, but they're going to come in heavily. Does he get off the defensive save? There's a the Soul Ball. Keeping him alive, but dragging him deep behind enemy lines. They'll drag him back a bit further. PPD totally caught out, but it buys time for the team. And coming in is Fear. Maybe kill the damn Dazzle. Finally, he'll bring him down. But it took them ages. Fear with another lane. Maybe we'll dodge it. LGD Committee of Global only getting a dazzle. EG still finding pretty solid trades. And now with Black Hole and BKB online, they're going in. Look for anyone to turn this. Five Silar. But it's BKB. He's not taking damage. And Fear's trapped pretty far back. Can they bring them down? Rocket Barrage doing the work they need. LGD turning this. Sumail waiting. He's got no Laguna left. He already chucked it out and now can't really oh, do the damage. But another pull. Trapped in the trees. Yeah, it's going to fall. Fear fights more. Sugar two, four, dead, possibly five, and then one on the run. No escape, no mercy. He'll die as well, and it's an ultra for the young Sumail. Wow, and maybe even flies in, unable to really fight anything after that. And EG with the most dominant fight so far of this game. Sumail managing to get an ultra kill. And I mean, EG just have so much money after this fight right now. All of them topping a thousand gold. Bringing the tier three tower down, EG closing in on the opening racks here of your lower rank and finals. And Shelly who goes in, hook, then a force, but they set up on the storm spirit. Can they chase them down? They get the water punch. See ya. There's the Laguna as well. A great call out from Silar. Then the Bynet. It's a triple kill. Maybe racking up bloodstone charges, holding the line, and now on the fear, he'll drop as well. LGD pulling out the miracle hole. Tower and racks here is. Fairly significant, but it doesn't really... And the Illusions are going to go on that range Rex mid. Looks like they will be able to grab it. There's the initiation. Hook, and now they go on to PPD. Global number one. AUI going to cleanse it off there with the Greaves. Looking for the BKB Black Hole. Is he going to find it? The Black Cannon not doing a whole hell of a lot here. And they even oh, yeah, go to the Once they lose the Art Shaker. Now on the sidewalk. EG finding their opening. Another Laguna. Destruction from Sumail. And maybe able to ball away. They buy back now the Gyrocopter. In that mid lane, the pressure has continued all the while. It might be another range Rex falling here. Fear will get it done. And now EG zero in on a potential double lane of Rex. The melee will drop. LGD, when does their final hold begin? Fear's going to force it out now. And the balling comes from maybe. He's not doing a the fear. Damage they have another global here, but Silo's not killing him. Offensive snowball beta deep behind the towers as Universe engages. Fear's going to rush in with the double up lane. Man mode on Silo. Maybe. Just finishing up the tusk for now. Where's the next target? Shall we stop at the same time? Not yet. He hooks his that way was to a safety. Oh. He hooks his way to safety. Will survive, but it gives Fear the time he needs. He works again on the Rex. EG, eyes on the prize. Objective gaming. Two full lanes of Rex. Now claimed. And it's getting desperate as they go back in with maybe, but the counter could be here. The hook shot did not connect. Call down coming through. Sumail holding on and now the black hole. Again with the Laguna. Sumail just crushed.
pushing his way through these LG cores, and it's more from fear, maybe finally getting off the kill. But then it's gonna be a long death timer. They need to make something more happen. They silence, pulling fear. They'll kill him off as well. It's a buyback on the tusk. But EG, they've got three buybacks here. Every core, every hero that's dead can return to the fight. And Blitz, it seems like LGD are gonna have to force something now. I mean, AUI was just so patient the entire game with the black hole. They forget about it for half a second when they use the global silence to try to initiate at the same time. And then all of a sudden, he's right there, perfect positioning all game. LGD, they've used all their buybacks. They don't have enough bloodstone charges on their storm to insta respawn. They're in a decent position, oh, but they allow the EG. He's got they the allow EG to breach, and now they go in. The hook to counter, though. A beautiful catch by Xiao Wei, holding them in position. Su Mail throwing himself up in the air, trying to survive. Now the volley for maybe. He's found the opening. Where's that black hole? Still holding it. Let it go! But it's canceled immediately. There's the global. AUI's going to fall. Silar is going to drop next. Maybe could additionally join him as Yao does what he can against Su Mail. It's not quite enough. Now they use him again. Where's that stun? They get it, and he's down. Nine finished. He's out. He's out for 63 seconds with no gyro for 110. EG have done it. They have taken game one here against LGD. And the crowd wars their approval here at Key Arena. What a close game this was the entire game. This is but, but then it's like, what a strong lane to challenge as well. Like, but Clock is like super strong against their... He's going to destroy him. Yeah, against their own one off lane. Okay, thank you very much, uh, particularly thank you to Black for joining us for the draft. We'll head downstairs to the main arena, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the second game with your commentary team of Blitz and LD. Yeah, he's going to miss again. This oh, is going to hurt them. The They're making it a go, maybe. Caught out a bit, the rogue comes in from both supports. Who gets the jump? It's Sumail, dropping the quickest, but he gets up to... Oh, he got it! The turnaround is actually Shelly with the first blood. He's got the initiation potential. Maybe he's going to bottle up a rune. It's a haste from PPD, just barely lucky that he doesn't this get caught so on the wrong side of the shard. Spear walking in, the familiar double stun from AUI with the snowball. Looking to turn the spear, will he get caught again? Both run into the combo, now the cooldown as well. Oh, we got get out of the cores, but they're kept alive. They're surviving for a time, and they will all stay and fight through it. EG, it looked really bad. A fissure, a call down, and so much follow-up, but just too much defensive abilities here. Too much beef on EG, who are now going for the Roche. I mean, Universe just casually struts in, manages to get the cogs, pushes the Shadow Fiend away, who they weren't going to kill anyways when he has that haste root. He forces the Gyrocopter onto that high ground, doesn't have a BKB or a TP to go along with it, and EG, this is going to mean an Aegis for them. They do it incredibly fast in fear. You can continue to roam because all of your items are so cheap, but they deal so much damage. This oh, could be for here. The snowball's there. The fissure comes through. Now they wall with punch. He's rather tanky. Called out. And Ice Shards combined to keep him in place. They try to save him with PPD and they will. Holds him in position for ages. They finally bring down the clicks. He's out of the fight. Echo Slam by Shao Wei. The Winter's Curse holding maybe and preventing him from dishing on any damage during this time. He does get off the Requiem and he lays in the universe. He'll bring him down with a single raise. Now an AUI. TP out attempted. Do they have the damage? Yes, they do. AUI also falls. It all began with a well-placed century from LGD. The vision game has just been the real battle, it feels, in so much of these first two. Trying to take away as much of the map control from LGD as they can. So mail up to another 1800 gold. Meanwhile, there's a bit of a chase on the fear over towards the jungle, but no real follow-up for this. Hope shot. There's the counter initiate. He's found out Yao. Can Yao make his way out of this one? The lift from MOI can toss him back. They walrus punch him. Requiem's coming. No, not actually going to use it just yet. He gets thrown up in the air. He may be punished. Well, BKB does this. They curse him and hold him. And Jir does the work. Even through this BKB, he finally gets up the map. The oh, stolen the steal! Mamaya! With the plays! Then the follow-up. Bomb Silar! AUI will melt. It's a triple! Silar turns it! BPD's next! We talked about it all game. The only spell that's really going to impact the fight is the Winner's Curse, and he manages to get it in the most clutch of moments. Rocket coming in. EG are going to look to contest this. They, they don't have a gem up. available. MMI can just sit back and wait for now the right opening to go. The Roche is going to fall. They've already got it, and they gauge on the high ground. They do find Shelly off the back here. As the fight breaks out, they lose the Earth Shaker. Call down comes through. Sumail with the Yules, the Winner's Curse. Pretty good, but not enough to bring down Silo. They turn. Look for the Spirit Bomb, and they finished off the last track. They punch 
much fear. He's doing good physical damage here, but not enough to finish off the cores. They buy back on the Rubik. They chase on the AUI. He's got the evasion that he needs to keep himself alive, but the familiars will be finished off as PPD, the next man to be caught out by the buying bag of MMY. The race will miss. He glimmers. This is gonna wear off momentarily, but he's juked them. He blinks away. PPD, a bit of a ninja. MMY does not want to let him escape for free. Even throwing out the earn charge. Remember, he just bought back. This could be a dieback for MMY. And he commits. He really commits for this cold embrace. He's being baited. Baited again and again. The ghost scepter about to wear off. Cores are coming in from behind. Maybe he's in deep. Perhaps too deep. Has he been brought to his own demise? Oh, he'll make it out. Siler also retreating. Thousand is. Lesh actually finishes that full cycle. There's the fight. rocket. They, they get him up on the spike. And his universe with the initiation yell. Four stamping himself away. Almost dies to Zuma one on the Zumail just going insane. Charging it on the baby. He's done. Held in place. They bait up the BKB. Universe gets pulled very far back. He's going to try to retreat. The echo's there. But Zumail's embrace. Now the Wizards covers. AG. Chilling. Saloning up. There's no buyback. There's no buyback. And now Siler. He's fallen. LGD are crumbling. The shit the oh, boys in there. blue. They are going in blitz. They are going in for a GG. And I don't I don't know how LGD can hold this next round of assault off. I, I mean what can they even do at this point? They don't have the echo. The Shadow Fiend bought out before the fight. He's gonna go on MMY right now. No time to think about it. MMY getting nuked to smithereens. El Sumel and Universe almost killing him off. He frantically retreats. He will survive for now. Universe is gonna be fishing for a hook, but he doesn't need the kill. They've got their axe, and now he's gonna get him anyway. MMY's dead. And EG will move on to the grand finals of the International 2015. They've gotten the revenge on LGD. The question is. Can they do it versus CDEC next as well? There will be no repeat performance for anybody this year as EG. They outdo themselves from TI4. Yeah, I think any support will... Oh, wow, there we go. All right. Wow. That's not a support, so it's probably a speed breaker <laughs> support. And an offering, Queen of Pain. Zone some a little bit, but needs to be careful. He is already, as they know, the is needs to get out yeah. of here. He's slowed down. The stun is not going to connect, but Samael still so low on life. It's going to be first blood going the way of CDEC. That's the start they want, that's the rotation they want, and that's the balance. Off. And in fact, the smoke is going to break because Fear's sitting in the tree line. So, uh, no joy for it, but they're still going to charge in. And what can Fear really do? He can do a call down. Owie, the Sonic Wave doesn't kill him. Sealed up both from the Queen of Pain, but it's got to be mopped up by Fear. Looking for another one, no blink. Six seconds of peep, and he will hold him here. EG take two kills, and then Z, he's trapped in the tree line. He wants to charge down, do they have a stun? Hawkshot from Universe, it's up and running, and he launches him in the tree line. Tried to force the issue. And they're allowing some mail to jump himself across the river, and there's your hook shot down. And the cogs are gonna push him back. Not the perfect initiation. Now they can try and turn it around with the split earth misses. You do commit the nether strike, and Universe trying to get out with the mystic flare. The Sonic Wave will at least kill off the clockwork. And EG needs to back out. Then again, d -Neck does. Some mail back in. A huge call down from Fear. They're gonna take one. Gonna take two. A double for the gyro. And now they can add pressure towards the tier one tower. And Cedek are waiting for him. The SB actually is going to charge in some mail. Ball lining's away. And now it could be PPD with a frostbite trying to catch him out of position. The Orchid is up for some mail so early. It's going to guarantee a kill on the Spirit Breaker. And they might look for more here. That regeneration route has been triggered by some mail. Universe, the hook shot in, catching out Garner. The call that will be there too. They cannot hunt the pony. You'll lose with the wipe as well. It's three for nothing. EG are rampaging through game number one of the TI5. Grand final. So, top lane, Samael gonna go on the Spirit Breaker. Still has an Orchid available and Spirit Breaker. He's gonna pop from the Orchid damage, even with the TP back. Ooh! Just one more attack from Samael would have ensured that. Maybe miscalculation there. Looked like he let him live. He, he did. A little bit of mercy there. He definitely had time oh, for Oh, middle lane. Attack. You actually got the CM ulti going down a blink out from Shiki. He'll be able to survive. Universe initiated him with that hook shot. And now they're trying to fight up the towel, but aggressive. Sealed up the Mystic Flare, burning through the PL. One shot, just can't keep him alive. Not with the call down connects. Sonic Wave will not do enough. So Mouse back to the fight, but not enough matter. But then again, we went to Wyvern. Locked the control. They find the pick up on him. Moving to the next target. Down to Gata. He gets it's getting golden rocketed down by EG. So that's his next target. The Shrag. That's not a healthy place to be. 
Universe fighting with the jungle at the same time. PL may not let this go unpunished. Universe wants to run away, but it's not going to happen until Storm surmounts in. He gets the arc of the PL. It looks like an instant kill for Universe, and now it's going to be a double kill for Surveil. Three down in the jungle, and EG once again. They bring in the cavalry. Perfect turnaround. Universe is just too tanky. It takes the mouth going again. Mid jump this time. Orchid on Orchid. They will have that cursor to slow down Samael. Can he jump away? No, he'll pop. That is a huge kill for a Queen of Pain. At the same time, though, Fear is almost taking out this tier two tower by himself. Now he's sitting on the sidelines being a spectator, and there goes the tier two. Goal. It's a, it's a difficult question to answer because he could be definitely hell. Oh, wait a sec. Long jump up. Sans is a spirit breaker, so we can kill him one. In comes Universe, cancelling the TB out. It's a two for. It's a very tempting thing to actually go for this. They're gonna charge in. Some male being pushed back and awkward up. They're gonna turn around, but now Universe looks shot in. Some male almost dead. He is dead. Where's your buyback? Here she comes. The TB, the T1 towers. Two heroes down already. This could be it. The money will let EG win this fight. They kind of want it anyway with the amount of damage the fear has. Storm jumping all the way back up again. They find aggressive. Queen of Pain the only one up. It fell at the last hope, and it was. EG will take game one in the TI5 Grand Final from what looked like an unstoppable CDEC. The perfect matchup. Versus... Oh, God. They did not the see that coming. The spiders are here. That's the matchup. Tournament. Universe, gotta be careful, the cogs, he's actually locked in here, the shards blocked his path out, and Universe will be the first one going the way of C-Deck. So, How long has AUI been here? Uh, the last two to three minutes, and now PPD being slowed up, PPD turns for just one frost over, he can't do anything about it, EG, uh, lose one, the rocket damage, actually quite heavy until it's track, but meanwhile, you're snowballing out for Samel, he's wind running up, and now the call down from B with a rocket barrage, and flat cannon, they get the shackle on Garner, he can't Sure, the last hit of damage to try and bring down some out the extra support. The sonic wave comes in from aggressive. They see him, they see the brood mother cursing directly away, and the spinelings turn on their mother as the clockwork jumps in. But there's so many spiders in the battery assault, not doing the work up against the brood mother. The hunger is just insatiable from XZ. Universe being cold and braced up, Broodmother still running away, but they've lost the vision now. And in comes Shiki with the lightning bouncing around, Universe as well as AUI, but with a shackle, the well, track is controlled. There's nowhere near enough damage to find any kind of revert revenge kill on EG. A sphere with a sonic wave, a little bit of trouble, the familiar stuns as well as the spiders. They find the kill, but PPD letting it go right now until the snowball comes in from CDEC. They need more. Universe is on the run, the cogs gonna push back the rest of CDEC, buying space for Samael until Aggressive comes in with a scream. The familiars will do the work in Q. We'll find a pickup on Universe. Control the entire jungle. They could be really flexible in what items they need to buy. Universe, nice hook shot down. He's gonna trigger off the dust. They see the Brute Mother perfectly. And PPD, there we go again. All over the Brute Mother, and he will go down this time. And as real Crystal Maidens do. You wait the full 10 seconds. So you're very likely to be able to get the mech off. Samael, got to get himself away from this. He just broke the five-man smoke that was there from C-Deck. Observer is watching Universe pretty closely, but as PPD is the man is in trouble until Universe hook shots himself in, going up the guard of a PPD. Already down for the count, dying to the track. Well, Universe, the shards will block him in. The snowball art from Familiars are coming in. They do have their stuns available. Might need a little bit more damage as now. There's Samael. Can't get the shackle. He was... Just went for the ulti over on the Tusker. Because now EG trying to back out this one. Samael, as well as AUI, the only ones alive. And now he's going to get Orkin and stopped up. That's a very, very dead Samael. But the curse, it can actually hold Queen of Pain back with a blink hit. Only stalled up. Like you still got the double damage rune. And in fact, yep, there goes your win run. They're going to try and burn through the tower while a bottom lane. You've got the push coming in, and in fact, the hook shot down from Universe, catching an XZ, reveals him off with the dust. AUI still has the curse, so Brew Mother's not going to go anywhere, and with a call down as well, EG will find the kill. Meanwhile, on top, Samel, all cut up and in real trouble, but the Aegis the all of PPD waiting in the wings, but what really can he do? Apart from watch him die, is there a blink away? And yes! Samel gets away, aggressive, shackled up, he's going for more PPD. He can't let, actually lend any more help. Samel will die, the blink forward, PPD will be able to escape. An almost a miraculous escape from the Wind Ranger.
But aggressive oblique in two seconds. He'll be chasing up after Universe. Cogs might better keep them out for now. In fact, both familiars don't stun anything. And uh, AUI, where's the shackle? BKB from aggressive. He'll dodge it, and Universe dying so quickly with the power shots. But fear on the front line for the Rocket Barrage with the help from Samel. They find the kill. The gem's also over on the deck, and they'll try and hold him here. Aggressive, Frostbit and PPD. We're going in right now. The freezing field drops, but he will be stunned up and controlled. But Shiki, no, he'll have to deny himself. They're not having a great fight. Right here, see the EG again the upper hand. They're chasing up after Gata. He'll drop as well. Queen of Pain able to escape, running away with the gem of truth side of C deck. So and it's a 4-1 this... trade-off. Spawn timing of this is 10 seconds away from spawn. So it's a quick Roshan. And the reason why it's even better is Samal still is holding on to this double damage rune. So he's got this during the next fight. In fact, EG, they're moving forward at the moment. The Hawk shot in from Universe. He's caught two inside the Cogs and Forsyth himself back out again. The Shards, though, it's a real lock in position. Universe, he just gets exploded, but at the same time, Zemail trying to bring down Garda. There's a little bit of help. PPD, the Freezing Field's not doing enough work. In fact, he's dying to Familiars, and he will, in fact, go down. They're going in deeper, but Zemail locked in and controlled EG. They're going to lose four. Fear trying to change it around as much as he can, but now they're going to lose five. and cement their control of this game. When these, when these familiars are done. Well, then again, Hookshot, Universe. He's found the broom on the BKB to be done. Universe just four stars himself away as Shiki. He's moved up even further, looking for Samal. Samal's gonna get perfectly stunned and pulled down by the pass over. V with the call down. He might have enough damage. No, he does not. EG lose three. This is spiraling completely out of control for evil geniuses and perfectly in the position for C-Day. AUI locked on the other side of the trees. He's dead in the world. The only one left up is Universe. That Greaves already been triggered by C-Deck. Now happy to find this in Universe so low when he jumps in the blade belt, not protecting him almost a 50 life, but Samael's the main man who's in trouble. They've lost everything. EG, good game. We will have a guaranteed fourth game as C-Deck level the series 1-1. We have seen him run peel more than almost anything, I think, this tournament. Slark. Oh, the Slark? That is ballsy. It's a shiki left shark. Iron Shell Slark. Very scary. Against it. Yeah, he actually saw a UI walk across the lane. That's the reason why he backed up. Universe getting very Stop. close on yeah. the top lane. There's a Cogs gonna drag in the slot. Now he's looking for that pounce while PPD removing a lot of his life. He pounces up and away. The rock is still available here from Universe. He'll get vision back on this slot again. And you got Decay in just a moment. In fact, it's back off cooldown again. But with the support coming in from Shiki, they have to back up. It's a male. It's a trip spirit down to the facade. Evil Genius has finally, they'll be the ones to spill the first blood. Just look at how fast the teams are reacting. To he's still gonna give it a shot. Made. That's, that's not enough, it's, no, it's actually short as well. Middle lane, Samal jumping in again, can't get the Searing Chains. The stun, the call out from Fear, trying to buy more space. Samal wouldn't do any more extra damage, but it might open up enough for Fear to get this kill on Gardner's Universe. Actually, Cold forces himself down, and this will be a kill for Fear, but Universe trapped underneath the tier one tower. The kill will come in for Versace with a lightning damage as well from Latrac. EG, severely punished. He's not sure about it. He's moving over towards PPD as well as Universe. Actually going through the tree line. Try and break the smoke while in middle lane is Q and Garda coming in. They're looking for the kill on Samel. The spirit's up, but Samel won't have enough life to survive this. Support's coming in from Universe towards PPD. They throw down the tombstone and fear. It needs to be a big call down and it will be a catch out too. And he's blanking out damage as well. Universe dropping very, very quickly with the lightning and the familiar drops. It's a double kill for the Latrac. They're looking for more. PPD removing a little bit of the life, but support's arrived in here. It's aggressive, going on fear. It's a triple kill for the Lashrak, and PPD on the run. No stuns for the Familiars, but they got some decent damage surging in the slug. He does not pounce the bubble, but there's that Iron Shot combo with the Death Bar packed. There's a kill for the Slark, and C-Deck. Iron, combining it up with the Slark's movement, they can just quickly just jump in and pop any hero they really want to try and find. Now PPD puts his own Observer Ward down, so both teams having good vision over this bot lane. And Universe hook shots in. He's able to lock in aggressive. That Blade Mount not even helping him at all. Universe just evaporates.
So the CD you see damage and aggressive coming in more. Blinks forward, gets a leech over on fear. They need more damage. The tombstone trying to help out the finger. Not enough to kill off fear. Garden so low. The mech keeping him up until the sun comes in. Actually, he's undying. Again, the last bit of damage in concussive shot will slow down the Versace and Samal going in very deep. A double searing chain moving around as EG. Samal picking up a double kill. They move in deeper as well. Q's on the run out here. The slide of fists. They're getting rid of at least one of the familiars. Yeah, he got scouted out by the Versace though. He pinged it. Straight away, they can get rid of this and then the jump in. They find Samal out of position. Tombstone, Solrim, Samal needs more time to back into the wall. BB is going to go down. Fear trying to do as much damage as he can with the Hawkshot from Universe. There's a little bit more control time here. But CDC, they're just so tanky. Versage will at least pop inside the cogs. And that's the gem on the ground. They can move forward and grab it for themselves. As Samal, in comes Lion again for the stuns, trying to combine it with the familiars. Shiki, real trouble for him. Yule set the Zuppa's guard, cannot help him out. He's got more help. Aggressive at the front line for Fear, pushing in after Aggressive. They split up the fight besides, took out the Ember Spino over with those spirits aggressive. He'll still go down. They're mopping up the familiars. The last attack in from Aoi will take care of it. Marks here. And they got oh, it. Oh, he's got him! Fear Missile's gonna connect. He can't break free of the stun. The cooldown will come with a decay. He's able to at least pounce himself away to safety. But they go for more. The side fist searing chain catching on XE and aggressive. He's still running himself away inside the shadow. It's the back into a four man ball. EG will still try to trigger one of their BKBs. And Shiki, as he isolates on the backside, try to TP out of the cover of a BKB. He'll be successful. In fact, the finger of death ensures the kill on Universe with the spirit jump up. Samel also wants to find his target. Got it back into the lane. Aggressive. Waiting it out, he's regenerating up and ready to come in. Fear, this isn't the path to freedom right now. He's gonna get locked in, aggressive. Where's your damage? It's all there. He's stealing the essence of fear out of him. The Aegis C model will trigger, but Samal's still here, but the Familiar's coming in. The Suns are back off cooldown, so they can keep fear locked. They go back in again. The Mystic Flare trying to buy some space with the back back in. Garda, he's burning right now. The shield of Samal, while the battle's still going on the back lines, fear needs more help. Can't find it though. He's gonna pop. They might get these steering chains, but Samal will hit the deck. Slide fisting around, they need to bring him down, they're going to slide him down and it will be enough. The fight goes the way of CDEC. PPT was trying to come back to help, but it was all too late. Three towers behind CDEC. Universe. A lot of gold here. IQ. He doesn't really want to try and fight this one. Man, why wouldn't you want to push that? Like, you've got insurance over on the Ember Spirit having this cheese available. Absolutely, take the tier two. Yeah. I think they go bottom as well. Or maybe even top and try to get both towers there. Uh, maybe even look for a fight as Fear's in trouble. He'll let the call down go, but there's your Abyssal Blade. It's still not going to stop Fear from pumping in a little bit more of this damage. They need the BKB to wear off so they can force off him down the cliff face, but it's not going to happen. Aggressive just keeps fighting, and Garda, they've actually isolated him with a double sun and Samal as well as BPD. X, he's keeping him out. The Agency model is triggered right now, but Samal, side of Fist, he needs more units to actually get the bounce off. Fear, dying to familiars, aggressive, they need more help. Mystic Flash coming in from AUI. Aggressive still alive until the orb is chasing him up. He should be able to buy this with a blink away. He's buying time to regenerate. While PPD battling up against the rest of the familiars. Oh, the sun God, comes down. Live. The Glimmer Cape will keep him alive. AUI will regather the gem now. They can't get rid of these familiars. And Samael. Dead, so. Two. They're actually gonna give. Nah, no, are they giving this away? It looks like it. Oh, and again, a whole no. shot down. They're gonna find Shiki. He'll BKB, but is there enough damage to get the kill? Samal can't reach him. He tried to slide a fist in, but the Cogs actually kept him out. So CDC, they know that hook shot's gonna be on cooldown for another 23 seconds. Familiar's preparing to come in from the side. Fear, remember, he's got that BKB. And Samal's got that Lincoln Spear up and running, so the initial attack won't be as easy. And the backside of Fist trying to keep him back. In comes Aggressive, triggers the BKB. PPD already with the tombstone down. They may not have enough of an opening. In fact, maybe they will. They found Aggressive locked inside the cogs while over on the side. Fear is keeping the Passage out. And then the back trying to go for the wall. They get it perfectly with Shiggy Pulsed over. They need more damage. Samael gets the side of Fist off. He's so low on life. But now, a little bit more. They can't even get him out. There's more damage coming in with Oshrak. So low on life. Aggressive turns on the fight. Going on Fear. The stuns are there. Away from the slug, and they keep going. The seal is on him. He can't pounce away. They lock him inside the cogs. Aggressive is down. Huge kill. Shiki no longer hiding in the trees. It's not safe there. The line is back.
activate and so is XC. A huge fight for EG. An invitation to force buybacks here from CDC. If they can that, push into the tier threes. That cheese on fear. Perfect timing using that. And CDC will have to buy back one, if not even two heroes, if they want to hold this lane. They're buying Shiki back for now. They don't want to have the slark, though. And Shiki already getting concussive shot at XZ. The back will come. They look for the sun and only connects over on Fear while Universe pushing aggressive back. The cops are keeping him out while the side of Fist goes again from Samel. Defensive spirit jump and they're all trying to TP out. They got their double buybacks. That's what they're looking for. And aggressive. Abyssal Blade is still available. Blink Dagger off cooldown. And in fact, Samel up in the air with the also Blink is Fear will trigger and Samel. He's going to go down. CDEC, they get something back for their buybacks. In the meantime, the. Aggressive is starting to run away from his team. Oh, he can lose the side. Catch. The courier's coming in with the rest of the side. It's so close to the strike. They missed the hook shot in. They need that courier dead right now. It's on the run out. And actually, he doesn't even want to turn to pick up the side. Now he'll turn around. Okay, that's just free gold that they're not taking. But they move up. There's your Siri chains over on the track. BKBs from both as aggressive also jumps in. Looking for the BK, the abyssal uh, by trigger in universe. Hawk shots up, pushes the slide back. There's no BKB, but Shadow Dance is available. The tombstone will split this fight up. If CDC want to come in through the rear, but now they're running over to the dire side of the jungle. Chasing in, Zamel right behind him, has a blink dagger off cooldown. Another hook shot gonna go to work. They find their opening, it's a lion down. Q also being slowed down by that concussive shot. Locked inside the cops in the middle of the river. He needs a path to freedom, it just doesn't exist. It's Zamel, he even goes in deeper. On the back of Chicky, the sun will be available. They back him back in. There's still the defensive spirits available, side of fist. And maybe there is enough damage, aggressive. Siri chained up, they need the damage. that is stopping this game right now is a creepway pushing the tier 4 tower up the tier 3 tower in the bottom lane but that's no real problem the spirit jump back out and EG they are coming for the mid lane probably holds the wall too long there and ends up getting a, a pretty mediocre one when the fight is over Lion never gets a spell off gets killed they're going too for the early. GG push they're actually just going straight for the GG push they want to see that to admit defeat and they get it EG will go one game up in the TI It doesn't feel like they have a very good pick here. So it'll be it's a yeah, scary it's pick to have for speed. They want to have Wyvern as well. So the perfect timing to have that Winter's Curse. And they're going to loop themselves into the middle. The same time EG had exactly the same thought. It's going to be smoke on smoke. The smoke will break and Fear's going to have that call down. The Fisher going to keep Dragon Eye out with the Rocket Mirage. The hookshot's coming in for some mail. We'll take the first one. Isolated XC inside of his own cogs and some mail. Jumps over him again. The mage, the whole clockwork in position of Fear. The Rocket Mirage doing some work with the instead. Guard wants to TP out. They don't have damage to kill both of them. Our Shaker can miss the Echo Slam to ensure the kill. So we got to instantly blink. Stun, Garden needs his life striker ready to connect, and they'll use the curse with Laguna Blade to mail! Oh. Almost able to jump, the animation will stop the universe right in the back of Garda. You've got the cooldown as well, this will instantly kill off the Lina. But now the Hawk shot as well, XZ's looking for a good line, and he completely wafts it off to the side! Universe will get the stun, but the DK's doing a lot more work, especially when the Splinter arrives in from Q. A CDEC is not in a bad position for this. They're just around the corner, including Hookshot. So Garda, as well as Shiki, they're not liking where they are. And actually, Shiki just leaves Garda for dead. He blinks himself away to safety. He's thinking about turning as Garda with a Hookshot in. He gets Laguna Blade over on Samel. And Samel, he's practically out of mana. The Ice Blast, however, coming in on the top of the Dragon Knight with the Echo Slam control. It should be enough. Samel, the curse is on him. Universe actually turn around to try and kill off his own teammate. Is Universe actually going to get a double kill? He's going to kill his teammate for Clockwork. The embrace is there, the fissure control, a triple kill for Universe. But now we see Aggressive coming online. The Phantom Lancer, insanely difficult to deal with. He's going to double ganger himself in the fine PPD. It's fresh Orchid. You can't see the, see the EC by surprise. Throw out more Lancers, just keeping vision on fear. They jump in. There's your curse to mount. Going in deep over on Wyvern. He's already used his ability, but here comes your call down. Dragon like over the extra stun. The keeping universe out. No echo slam for him. In fact, he's actually gonna push it back out with the comp. Universe will drop. And maybe even one after it's gonna get double kill for Samel. The song of the siren allowing EG to reset Samel, not with a great amount of mana, but bought time for the Orca to come back off cooldown. They can control the clockwork. He will take a fall.
but aggressive is on the run. Here now. I don't think EG are interested in contesting this 4 on 5, but maybe they could delay it long enough for it to be a 5 on 5 if they Ice Blast and Fissure properly. There is uh, no hook shot. They're all together. PPD, here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the dunk! Oh! even need to buy time when they have superior vision and CDC have no idea it's coming. Not in the perfect position for this. He is going to see an invisor and potentially going to jump down and grab it. And now they can curse him up. Look at Spear though. It triggers. That wasn't the curse from Q, however. But the PL just runs himself down to EG, taking out a lot of fierce metal. Now remember, Aggressive does have the full heart for this fight. Last Tracker Ray is going to force it out. The universe! Big jump as they get the curse off. There's a control from the universe and Samal. And the hook shot in as well from XC. He goes for the fight of a fear. Finding the damage to Mal. Aggressive being put under in the cold embrace. We back up in a moment. Doppelganger, one second. But Song of the Siren. They need Aggressive to die instantly before he's able to doppelganger. Shiki as well. There's your doppelganger. Shiki has one chance to survive a little bit longer with splitting up the fight. But there goes your PL. Dragonite, the cold feet and the urn charge. They're both taking him out. The cogs will push back. He's got enough life to survive, they actually repair it with another urn charge. And AUI, yeah, he's not going to keep up with the dragon. There's Cockwork, oh, the Cancelly and TP. Vaughn texting XZ back in. Now, the male going in deep, chasing after Q. They just need a couple of kills to be TI5 champions. With the Wyvern, he down for the card. Fear, fully wicked sick. They're going to bring in the Zatanic as well for Fear while this push continues. As the tier 3 tower drops DK, only now is he TPing back and he's still going to regenerate. The melee racks will drop. EG, how much respect do you give? The PL is up in 7 seconds. They're going to rotate themselves over to the tier 3 tower. They do not want to overstay their welcome here. But they may just have the confidence to keep on going with that fresh Satanic. Shiki Dragon form up, gets us on over on Fear. They're moving forward with a hot shot in the ice blast! Perfect on Cena! They keep the battle going! Somehow might be low on mana. We need to keep controlling Fear CDC if they want to try and win this game. But Fear finds more. He's actually being trapped up the curse, holding him here for now. DK will fight back and they're dragging back the clockwork with a finisher starter. CDC are running out of heroes. Aggressive wants to come out and find some kind of collateral kills. But EG are turning tail and running for now. Universe is ready to turn. He's got Echo Slam up. He just needs his bling. They're going to come back. I'm caught out aggressive. The call down. The perfect position. That's your Echo Slam. Aggressive. Locked in position right now. He got embraced up by the window. Wyvern, but Fear moving forward as well. The DK about to drop. Aggressive on Soul Survivor. See the EC. It looks troublesome. It looks really, really bad for them. Aggressive on the run. Universe right behind him. They keep running out for GG. Well played. EG. Claim 